schoolie? Uh, both were schoolies, that's correct, but they, at the time of the incident they weren't known to each other. What actually happened? What did the victim say happened in the hotel? Well, it, it's alleged uh, that um, neither, of the, uh, neither the victim or the alleged offender um, were occupants of the room. However, um, they were both in the room and a verbal argument ensued. And during that argument, that turned into a, a bit more of an aggressive tussle, uh, at which time the alleged offender has um, hit the girl with a cut which must have been close to the bed. Pretty, pretty horrific. Oh, look, it's terrible, and that sort of thing is uh, just not acceptable. And uh, as I said, it's a good <coughs> thing that on this occasion that social media was able to be used to, um, for us to be able to identify the alleged offender. Was the victim taken to hospital? Uh, the victim was taken to hospital. She presented herself, and um, she had her injuries reviewed. How old is the alleged victim? Uh, the victim is believed to be 17 years of age. Mm -hmm and uh, the alleged offender is a, a, a female believed to be 18 years of age. What the argument was over? It was over something as trivial as uh, one girl sitting on the bed that the other girl said was hers. There's no suggestion of alcohol or over excessive use of alcohol and it's just a typical um, young person squabble that uh, you would expect to maybe see in the family, but certainly not to see two strangers uh, undertaking that behaviour and then one using a ceramic cup to assault the other. How concerning is it that images like this are getting out there as an example of what happens at school? Is well, well, it's not concerning to me. I'm not concerned about that. I think that sort of stuff needs to go out there because the young people need to see the dangers of um, the shenanigans that go by. Another example is uh, after all the warnings we've given about balcony behaviour, it was loaded on social media site, three young men, apparently schoolies, hanging over a railing at a Broad Beach apartment block. In fact, they were on the other side of the railing and posing for a camera shot. Um, as a result of that post being identified by police uh, and the police officer able to identify the rough area where that building was and using Google Earth we've now identified the building and we hope that uh, we will be able to charge these three males with that offence of unrestricted uh, dangerous behaviour. Well until we conduct our investigation we don't know but uh, based on the other photos we've seen of schoolies they look like schoolies. Des, I guess another reminder um, to young people, schoolies, about using social media and the use of it? I think um, I can't reinforce enough that every person or the large majority have some sort of smart device. No matter what happens, whatever you do will be caught on image and can be exposed to the world at large. I don't know how many times you have to explain that to young people before they realise and often times it'll only be when something happens, uh, you know, somebody might pick up the fact that it's a good idea not to be stupid. I think uh, the old saying is you can't put an old head on young shoulders. Was this girl hit um, multiple times? No, I don't believe so. I believe she was hit once and the cup smashed. So there was only one other girl who assaulted that's so correct. Thinking, were they both schoolies? Was the 18 year old a school? I believe so. You believe so? The, the 18 correct. and 17? Yes. Yeah, and they didn't know each other? They didn't know each other. Yeah. The reports are about a, a girl taking, taking ecstasy tablets to the. We're not aware people. of that. We have, uh, during the week, had a number of drug arrests, but they've been uh, very minimal compared to the number of people we have in Surface Paradise. So we're looking at each night two to four arrests and the quantity 